Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. The CN architectures is a architectures which is used for the image classification or the image processing. So when we have the image, so as I mentioned that uh, even the image for the image processing, we have the image, when we have the image, we have to convert the image into some kind of a number representation. And to how to convert the image into the number, we basically create a matrix and contain this matrix are the pixel values. Like for example, if you see these things, you always see that, okay, this this image is, is 120 cross 120. So when we are saying that 120 cross 120, we are mentioning basically that we are representing a image in a matrix having 120 rows and 120 columns. And one pixel is representing the one number or the one color intensity. So if I talk about a black and white picture, like for example, uh, uh, because we have that only the two type of image. One is the uh, one is the colorful image, and another is the black and white image. So let's take the black and white image picture. So the thing is that uh, uh, let me just show you this way. So, for example, I have a picture which is rep represent the number 2. So, this is my number 2. So, I have a picture which represents the number 2. And we are calling it as a, a 5 cross 5 picture. Okay, 5 cross 5 means that in the pixel part, uh, we have the, uh, in the pixel, when we convert into the numbers, we will have the 5 rows and the 5 columns. So, now I am just converting into the number so I'm just creating the matrix one two three and four one two three so this is my five cross five matrix and now each value is uh, this each value is the pixel case so in the case of the black and white picture zero represent the pure black color and 255 represent the pure white color okay so zero represent the pure uh, zero represent the pure black and 255 represent the pure white so now in this portion we don't have any black portion because black is all only wherever we have this line 2. So this is my like pure white so the pixel value will be 255. Here we have this portion having some black portion so pixel value will be definitely not the not the 0 not the 255 most of the portion is white some portion is black so we can call it as it will be somewhere around 200 so one pixel has one value so like for example this pixel this pixel contain this portion uh, as a black so based on the part we will have some values and this is like some portion small portion to 240 this is pure white 255 255 and so on So this is how we represent a image in the numeric representation. And once we convert the image into the numeric, now the rest of the part is okay because we have to, uh, because the rest of the part is okay because now my, my image has been converted into the, uh, converted into the, some kind of a numeric representation and now once I have the numbers I can pass to my network so this is how we can co convert the one black and white picture to the its corresponding numeric representation then the second thing is that how to handle the color image 
so we know that that each color is nothing but the combination of red green and blue because these are the primary colors so i have the red green and blue so these are the primary colors so each color which is showing on a pixel like for example this is a kind of a picture of uh, uh, vegetables having so if i take about this pixel this these values i'm just marking it here so here this this color whatever the color it is it has some portion of the red it has a portion of the green and the blue we have seen this thing in the primary schools right so so now so when i represent these things into the when i represent these things into the some kind of a matrix form so i need the three matrix i need the three matrix one matrix is represent the purely red color and then another matrix which will be superimposed on the previous matrix it will be something like a like a red matrix on the top of it we have the green matrix on the top of it we have the blue matrix so if you want to visualize so you can visualize with the uh, rubik right so we have this uh, uh, cubic or rubik uh, guys we have this game right rubik right uh, yeah this is one so this you can analyze these things okay so so one layer uh, let me just uh, show you so one layer is this one which is represent the red color this is the matrix another layer is this one which is represent the for example this is the red color this is the green color and then we have the blue color clear so this is how a so to represent a colorful image this is will be my representation and to represent the black and white image to represent the black and white image we have a single matrix so if we have a single matrix use the uh, uh, simply use the single matrix and uh, when we have the colorful image so this is my input so now after that so the, so my first part is clear that uh, we we convert my image into some kind of a numeric representation now we are passing this image to the architectures so in the cnn architectures in the cnn architectures what we have is we have the different layers and layer one layer is the convolutional layer then pooling layer then fully connected layers so let's see the let, let's see the use case that what is the responsibility of the each layer so guys uh, the purpose of the convolution layer is to extract the features let me show you with a small example so if you see these pictures from these pictures i want to fetch out the different features of the image so you can see that on the i from this picture i extracted this Im images and one image is the same and in the last in these three images you can see that in the one part i am covering the shape in another part i am covering the edge in another part i covering the depth so if you see these things i am covering the different features of the image so this is my convolutional operation in my convolutional operation i am extracting the different different features of the image and then after that i will perform the pooling operation to reduce the size of these features and then once i have this matrix because still now i'm processing the matrix after the matrix i'm converting into a a huge vector once i have a huge vector i will down the size of this huge vector and then perform the output layer to perform the classifications so now this is how the things work let me just show you a one uh, uh page like how the things work uh, i have this one yeah this is the one so if you see these things in the first layer this is a car so i want to predict that whether it's a car truck aeroplane ship and the horse i have 
I have to predict the things from out of this five category. So I pass the car image, I pass the image. In the first convolution layers, if you see these things, it is extracting the different different features using some kernel techniques. Some kernel techniques are there. So it's using some kind of a kernel techniques to extract the these features. Then again, it's using the further convolution layers, extract the more features, then use the pooling layer to reduce the size and perform this number series of the features to extract the very minute features. And then after that, uh, we have the classification layer. You can say this is called the classification layer, but ideally should be only a output layer with the one, one activation function. Then we have the last output layer. So which tell us that, okay, if these features are coming, if, we, if you see these things in the last row, in the last layers, we have very minute features. Although in the very beginning, we have the big level features. In the last, we have the very, very less, uh, very minute details. And then after that, then after that, if these minute features are belong to the car, so my my model will remember this thing that okay, these features are belong to car, these minute features are belong to Turk, and so on. So next time when a feature, image will come, it will go through the number of series to get these minute features. Then internally it will check that uh, whether these features are belong to the car, truck, airplane, or ship, or horse. So this is how your convolutional neural network works. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.